Good evening. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. Do you listen to the teacher? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Good because uh, because of the heavy rain, you know the 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 internet has been kind of unstable, and that is why I was concerned, and I was testing my sound. But now everything is fine. Okay, Miguel Angel Santos, Carlos Rivas, Reina Elizabeth, Evelyn Jamilet. I am so glad that all of you are here in my class. This Good evening. It's rainy night, okay? But it's going to be fresh, I think, later on. <laughs> so let's get started with our class because it is the time, okay? Here we go. I'm going to start sharing my PPT with you as every single day that we have been meeting here. And here we go. Okay. Hmm. Today is September the 8th, 2023. Is that correct? Yes. If I am not, please tell me. Excellent. Now in our agenda class, we have the welcoming, what I did first. We are going to read the objectives. Today, we're going to be identifying time expressions. Also, you're going to be practicing vocabulary related to work experience and time expressions. We're going to be associating them. And you are going to create uh, your own conversation to talk about work experience in the different areas that you work. And you are going to describe your job. Okay, yesterday, if you remember, we began with that. So I just want to remind you about this class, homeworks and evaluations, okay? Remember that they are mandatory. So I expect that maybe in the weekend you are going to, okay, to finish at least week one, remember section one or what belongs to the first week, because with this rainy season, the blackouts, and also the not so good internet connectivity that we have in our country, there are many problems. And remember in week number one, there is no test, only the five homeworks that you have to go over. And there is one situation that one of your classmates uh, mentioned yesterday in class, and I told her that we were going to discuss it today. And also someone uh, shared it via WhatsApp, and I said that I'm going to explain how to do it, okay? Because there is, I think there is a little mistake in the in the exercise, but we're going to fix it, and then you are going to get your point, okay? So over here, remember, these are the requirements. I'm going to ask Miss Evelyn, would you please read the requirements so we don't forget them? In Spanish, Evelyn, not in English, please, in Spanish, okay? <laughs> okay. Requerimientos. Nombre completo al conectarse a la plataforma. En el caso de oyentes, agregar palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Cámara encendida durante toda la sesión. Minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. Participación activa. Thank you so much for helping me. And now here we have about attendance. Remember, this is in Spanish in order to avoid any misunderstanding, any problem. It is expected that you get connected to the classes 100%. Remember the expectation, the spirit, the idea is that you need to be here in this virtual classroom 120 minutes. Why? Because every hour, is 60 minutes then 60 plus 60 equals 120 yeah and the attendance is taken two times at least at 8 20 sometimes at 8 30 when i see that there are problems with the traffic with the connectivity with you know rain i give some minutes to the students it is going to be taken as valid your attendance when in the video we listen 
presente, here I am, I'm here, or present. Remember that at the end there are available the one-on-one -on -one sessions in order to reinforce any topic, grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, reading, or writing. And one student is, uh, um, you know, with me at the end of the class in order to have that experience. And again, unfortunately, I cannot give you permission to skip classes, to be absent, because I don't have that authority, neither the academy, the administration at Inglés Corporativo, no. So, permisos no disponibles in Spanish. This is the expectation. Remember, we expect that all of you have your cameras on and the microphone mute in order to listen to everybody participate. The camera on, the two chats via WhatsApp and via Zoom are available. The breakout rooms are available for all of you and the ask for help button when we are in the breakout rooms also is available. And as usual, respect above all, okay? We need to respect one another to treat other people the way that you want them to treat you. So everything is going to be fine. No shouting, ah, no. No curse words. Again, curse words, malas palabras, no. Okay. And here we have the calendar. Week one, as I was telling you, for section one, the first five homeworks must be over by September the 12th. If it is earlier, better. And then you have here the dates, okay? Now I need another student to help me reading the objectives. Who is going to help me reading the objective? Only one. I am going to choose the victim. Mm, but to have a better... Okay, Miguel Angel Santos Cortez, please help me. Thank you, teacher. Adjectives. General objective. Participants will be able to talk about their work experiences. A specific objective. Participants will be able to apply time expression to talk about work experiences. Class objective. Objectives at the end of the class, participants will create their own conversation conversation to talk about work experience using time expressions. Thank you so much. Great, excellent participation. So that is in a few words uh, what we are going to be working on, and I expect that we're going to cover the contents at pages. Um, 12 under 10, because we have a feedback on what we did yesterday, okay? Yesterday, you were talking about the benefits, okay, that you bring to your company. We were working at page 11. If you remember with this material, you were asking and answering these questions in exercise one. Also, we were practicing this conversation in the breakout rooms, and you answered these two questions. So class, please, uh, I need two volunteers in order to practice this conversation. Two volunteers, let me see. Me too. Okay, Miss Evelyn, you are going to read Andre. I need another participant to read Kurt. Hello, who's going to help Evelyn? Ursula, thank you, Ursula. Me too. Okay, Ursula, you are going to read the Kurt and Miss Evelyn, you begin reading Andre. One, two, three, go for it. Okay, Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable. Here, with my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring 
to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction in industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Okay, thank you. Now I start first. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can I? Can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Finish. Great, and actually that is what you were doing. You were practicing this conversation in the breakout rooms and later you switch roles, yes? You did it as we did yesterday in class. But also class, uh, one more thing that we did yesterday was, okay, hold it, let me see. We were using would be and could be and the purpose was to use accurately would be and could be. And the material that we worked on was this, if you remember. We use would be and could be when you want to give the, the impression of possibility in the future. For instance, you have, I would be a great asset or I could be of great help in the sales department. In order to use and practice these structures, you were unscrambling the words to form sentences. And we use the correct word order in grammar in order to produce logical and coherent sentences, correct? So right now we're going to go over exercise number six, which is your turn to practice. You have to prepare a two minute presentation about the benefits you would bring to a new company if you had the opportunity to work in it. <clears throat> this is hypothetically, okay? Imagine that you are going to move to another company and you are in an interview, in a job interview. How would you persuade the people who are in that company, the human resources people, or the person who is interviewing you that they have to hire you. They need to contract you. And then you have to say, well, I would be a good asset for your company because I would bring blah, 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 blah. And then this is the moment when you sell yourself as a good employee to the company and maybe you can negotiate the salary and you can get a better salary than the one that is offered, yes? So right now, you have to write your skills, your abilities, your knowledge, your experience, and how, or your background, I mean, your studies, your experience, your job experience, is going to uh, be good or beneficial for the company that is interviewing you because you are going to move from one job to a better one. Are the instructions clear? No. Yeah. Are you sure? Okay. Yeah, sure. And you have to share with your classmates in the breakout rooms. Now I have a question class for all of you. How do you feel more comfortable writing about this presentation and writing the benefits that another company is going to get 
because of your experience, your degrees, or whatever, okay, your knowledge, the languages that you speak, or all the skills that you are good at individually here or in the breakout rooms? How is it better for you? To write it now, here, your short presentation, or write in the break? Now. Okay, individually. Yeah. Or in groups, individually. Okay, let's go for it. This is what we're going to do. Okay, five minutes. Exercise number six, your turn. Okay? Because we didn't do this activity yesterday, because we didn't have enough time. Okay, so go over this, and later we continue. Mm -hmm. If you need help or if you have a problem, you ask for help, okay? Maybe two or three of your partners have the same problem and we are here to help you, okay? Okay, here you are. We are working class at page 12 and exercise number six, okay? In the manual because I can magnify it better.
class while you are working on that uh, presentation. I'm going to call your names to take the first attendance because it is 820, okay? Here we go. And some of your partners reported that some of them are not going to be able to connect to the class and some others are still in their way home, okay? They are in traffic. Ana Cristina? Miss Ana Cristina absent. Mr. Andre? Present teacher. Thank you. Arely Isabel Campos? Arely, 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 where are you? Not yet. Okay, she's absent at the moment. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Thank you so much, sir. Daniel Ernesto. Present. Okay, thank you. David Emanuel. David, are you here? No, David is not here yet. Daisy, Miss Daisy, Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Daisy. Great. Edwin Esau. Edwin. Ah, yes, here. I, I, I saw you and I was looking for you. Okay. Elizabeth, Miss Carla. Miss Carla Hello. Minero. Ah. Okay, thank you, Mr. I am in the car. Ah, you're driving. Okay, be careful, be careful. No, but my husband. Ah, your husband. Okay. Yeah. So, uh -huh. okay, thank you. Now, Miss Evelyn Jamilet. Present teacher. Yeah, here, very early. Thank you. Miss Yvonne Menjibar de Castellanos. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego Ramirez. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Henry Giovanni. Not yet. Henry Giovanni is absent at the moment. Okay. Jennifer Beatriz Mejia. She's a listener today. No. Jennifer Beatriz. Jennifer Beatriz Cepeda, absent. Juan Eduardo Flores. Juan Here I am. Eduardo. Okay, thank you so much. Catherine Beatriz. Present. Great, miss. Thank you. Katia Maria de Leon. Elias. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Katia. Miss Katia, you were absent yesterday. Yes. Yes, I have. Okay. Problem. Okay, yes, but so now you are here. Okay, but oh, really? Yes. Yeah. It is. Sometimes there are failures. Um, Maritza Elizabeth Martinez. It's an today. Thank you, Miss Maritza. Miguel Ángel Santos. Present teacher. Thank you, Michael Angel. Mr. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Noah. Hi, teacher. Hi, Hi teacher. thank you. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez. Oscar. I'm checking the listeners. Absent at the moment. Reina Elizabeth Garcia. Present. Thank you, Miss. Ah, David, you are here. Okay. I am here, teacher. Yes, because I called your name and it was weird that you were not here. Okay, thank you. Rosalie Bon Quintanilla. Rosalie, I saw her name over here. 
but as a listener. Present. Present. Okay, Present. thank you, thank you, Rosalie. Thank you so much. Sonia Esmeralda, Mauricio. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Susan Carolina, Susana Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. And Miss Ursula Esteli. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, listen, class. Before we go over and I forget, if you remember part of the feedback, and this is in your in your assignment in your homework week one. Okay, we're going to get rid of this situation because there is a mistake in the program. If you remember class yesterday, we were working on this exercise, right? But here we have the word staff. And in homework number two, section one, okay, you have this exercise exactly. But to most of your classmates, they get it wrong because they don't use in the answer in the platform staff, even though they have it like this. Miren, a pesar de que está escrita tal cual como esta, ellos no, en la respuesta no usan la palabra staff. They use another word. And so we say like this. Weekends, as we did yesterday, weekends off, do you remember that we did yesterday this? Would be, would be um, a good option. You told me yesterday, a good option to to have to have uh, happy employees this is the answer that you need to write in that exercise even though they don't have here ah because we have two times ah and we have the time staff but they don't use that in the answer so i think there is a, a problem right and they didn't fix it so this is the answer weekends off would be a good option to have happy employees okay write that because you have to write this and then you are going to get it correct i promise to explain it to you this and this is the explanation okay to have happy employees if you write a happy employees is not correct because you have in plural this, you say to have a happy employees, but they, I don't know why they wrote this, because here we have the word staff, and in the homework, it is the same with the word staff, and two times the word ah, so we did it correctly. Okay, class, as soon as you finish preparing your, your short, very short presentation, you tell me because I'm going to transfer you so you can work in the breakout rooms. Is that okay? Okay. 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 Two more minutes so you can finish. It doesn't have to be long, no, short. Because you need to be objective and concise in order to convince, to persuade somebody, okay? Because blah, 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 blah. That's it.
Okay, class, how many of you finished? Yes, it is. Okay, mm -hmm. Miguel finished. Ursula finished. Excellent. Very well. Somebody else? Ah, Daniel Ernesto. Excellent. Great. Thank you so much. One more minute and then we go to the breakout rooms. Because this is part of the feedback of the review of what we did yesterday. Remember that here the boy is saying, right? Uh, Kurt says, I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. And you say, I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the blah, blah industry, in the sales industry, in the computer or um, software industry, in the whatever you, your area is. I would say in the teaching, in the teaching area. Yeah or in the teaching industry. And then, because I am very responsible, I am objective, uh, I always give the extra mile. Have you ever heard about that? When you say, I yes, give teacher. the extra mile, yeah? Extra mile, dar la mia extra. So it means give more than the people in the company ask you to do, to give the extra mile. Okay. Now, class, I'm going to transfer you so you can share with your classmates your assets, okay? Why you are a good future employee to the company. No questions? Susana Carolina, you are a listener. I call your name, Miss Susan. Let me see. Okay, yes, you are here. Now, class, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms because you feel more comfortable to express your ideas in the small groups than in the main session room. You don't need to be shy, no. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to send you the invitation right now, okay? And you tell your classmates your presentation, what you wrote about yourself. Here we go, okay? Join your groups if you are so nice, please. Go to your groups. Miguel Angel, your group is number one. Please join the group if you, oh, thank you, great. ¿Quién gusta empezar? Yo, Ryan. Okay. Uh, I would be a great asset in the company because I seen of my experience in maintenance the benefits that I would share with your company would be of a great help. I know a lot of, about technical support and I can learn a lot because I am a very attentive and I like to learn many things. I am very responsible and disciplined. I like to share my uh, knowledge with other people and also like to learn. Very well done, congratulations, great. 
Excellent. And now the next participant. Hello, Miss Katia Maria, Carlos Enrique. Okay. I go with the best option for the company because I had work as an analyst at my laboratory for seven years. And my duties include helping the quality manager verificate the batches for sale and review the manufactured products. Um, um, Google is the quality control technical and with my experience and my students, I will give the best for this company. Congratulations, Miss Katia Maria. Very well done. Now, Carlos Enrique, Miguel, Thank or Miss Daisy. Me, teacher. In my case, if I have the opportunity in this new company, I will bring more than eight years of experience in customer service and sales. Additionally, I will provide innovation of new sales practice. I will also provide commitment and responsibility in new job. Very well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Excellent. Teacher. Now continue Carlos and Daisy Carolina. Okay. My turn, teacher. Okay. Is there more to talk? No se me escucha bien. Sí, 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 creo, creo que estaba por allá. Escucho, como la señal. Ah, ok. Tienes el micrófono silenciado. Reina, your microphone is off. Activate the microphone and repeat. The microphone activated. It is off. Open your microphone. Active el micrófono. Okay. <laughs> now say it again. Perdón, creo que me está fallando yo porque yo escucho cortado. Okay, repeat, repeat your presentation, miss. Okay. Okay, what I will bring to the company is experience in documentation of administra administrative processes and customer service. And I am also super punctual and responsible. Okay, you are extremely punctual. Oh my God. Excellent. Very well. Yes, Mr. Andre. <laughs> Okay, in my case, uh, as an employee, I contribute my knowledge and help carry out the assigned work during the day. In order to meet the schedule goals, since the day-to-day -day work requires complaints are specific in the maintenance manual, Therefore, each technician must be performed quality work. Wow, very well. Congrats to the two participants that I have heard their presentations. What about <laughs> Mr. Guillermo Eduardo? It's a light issue. Mr. Abrego? Hello, Mr. Abrego, Mr. Eduardo Abrego. Did he already present, Reina? Did Mr. Eduardo Abrego present? Ya presentó Guillermo Eduardo. Uh, dice, no, todavía no. Okay. O al menos yo no le he escuchado. <laughs> no. And, and Miss uh, Carla? 
because you are uh, si, si, you already presented. Okay. Um, would you like to 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 listen to you if you if you can do it, please? Okay. Um, if you give me the opportunity to work in a new company, uh, my aunt assets. I have experience in marketing and sales. I also am very responsible. I have knowledge in digital marketing. And I work under pressure. That is uh, excellent because now most of the companies have that requirement, yeah? To work under pressure because many people say, ah, oh, no, too many activities, yes, and they go away. So that is a good asset that all the companies value. Excellent, very well. So class, congratulations, and you uh, wait for Mr. Eduardo Abrego's presentation, okay? Congratulations, you did a pretty good job, very well. See you later because I need to go to another group, okay? Because I have, I have 15 years of experience in customer service and I am good at friendship. I have experience as a supervisor. I am responsible and I and also I like to arrive early at work. That's okay. Very good. <laughs> okay. Uh, two benefit could be um motivation to continually learn to encourage improve teamwork mm -hmm. and obtain positive results. Mm -hmm. uh, and two communication skill. That is to say, easy of speech like mm -hmm. a presentation. Very good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I could be a great in the company because my experience in the industry pharmaceutical and now the process of the production plan, the pharmaceutical plan, review of documentation relate batch manufacturing. I could be a great help in the large project. Okay. Okay. Um, in my case, I think that I could give a company a responsibility, punctuality, and Estamos ready? Ready. Okay. In my case, the benefit that I will bring to a new company are experience in construction and repairs in, in the electric electrician are, are installation and maintenance of air conditioning the channel. I like to to do an excellent job and contribute contribute my knowledge layer to the company. Uh, next. Okay. In my position. In my position, I I am. Um, Comfortable that training that many employees, that many new employees, and I can afford in the company uh, training the new employees in sales area because it's very important that the new employees uh, can can take decision and can speak with another person. Because uh, 
the company uh, needed that the new employee uh, develop developed is developed very very fast and very good on that. Next. Okay, congratulations to, to Gustavo Nunez and Mr. Eduardo Flores. Good presentations. The next one, please. Okay. <clears throat> good night. Good, good evening, sorry. <laughs> if I have the opportunity to go to another company, it will be Focus on salads. Focuses on salads. And the benefits that I will contribute to a new serious company. And focus on service, customer service business administration, and personal leadership. That's it. Teacher, me cuesta unir las conversaciones, me cuesta hacer las oraciones, me cuesta conectarlas. Verbo pasado, presente, futuro, would be, could be, and uh, uh, the preposition uh, complements. Yes, but through the practice, you are going to learn. And that is why it is important that you do the homeworks, yes, on the platform, because you connect your ideas and also here in class, no matter if you make mistake, why? Because if you make mistake, you are going to uh, be corrected and then you are going to be monitoring. That is a problem that happens to everybody. But through the practice, we monitor and you say something, ah, no, I mean this, and you correct yourself, yes? But that is, don't believe that it is your own case. No, many, many people around the world suffer that situation. In our case, in Latin America, it is because we don't master our own grammar. Most of the people in Latin America, they don't know Spanish grammar. And then if you don't know, grammar in your language is more difficult you you feel like a shock with the american grammar which is different yeah for the position of the words mm -hmm. for example in um, in spanish we pluralize the adjectives we say niñas niñas bonitas but in english no you only say pretty pretty girls okay the adjective is pretty. You don't say pretty girls, no. You say pretty girls. And that is one of the problems that we, the Spanish speakers, have when we are learning another language. But through the practice, believe me that you are going to master that, okay? Continue practicing, 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 because practice makes perfect, okay? Okay, don't be concerned. Okay. You are not the only one. And Miss Arely, did you present? Areli, are you there? Areli, Isabel? Knock, knock. Somebody there? Areli, Isabel? Hola, teacher. Uh -huh. Todavía estoy terminándola. Ah, okay. okay. They are going to wait for you because I'm going to monitor another group. When I come back, maybe you are over, okay? Maybe you okay. finish. Okay, but hurry up because your partners are anxious. They are willing to listen to you, willing to, ansiosos, okay? They are willing to listen to you. Están ansiosos de escucharla, okay? I'll come back because I need yeah. to monitor other groups. Thank you. Good presentations, guys. The creation of a strategic compound for our target. Así lo tengo yo. Ok. ¿Y el suyo cómo, cómo Pero, sería? Yo digo que está bien. Uh, el mío sería... 
the benefits that I can bring to a company are respect, responsibility, teamwork, experience in sewing, cooking, and skilling. I have experience in those areas, but I can work in any area and I learn quickly. I learn quickly. Yes. Quickly. Okay. Okay, very well. Yes, 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 Sonia. ¿Cómo se pronuncia um, con, con los Knowledge. conocimientos? Knowledge. Se llama, ¿Cómo? Knowledge. Or knowledge. knowledge. My knowledge. My knowledge. My knowledge. Yes. Y I can't. Es, es, la frase, le voy a decir la frase completa. I can contribute. Contribuir. Contribute. I can contribute. I can contribute my can, can knowledge, me dijo. No, I can contribute with my knowledge. I can my, contribute with my knowledge. I'm going to write it over here. My knowledge. Yes, because you don't pronounce the K in knowledge. Okay, here. Okay. We say like this, I can contribute With my knowledge, I can contribute with, with my, my knowledge. 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 You don't pronounce the K. You don't pronounce the W. Knowledge. 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 Contribute. Contribute. Okay, that's it. Very well. Okay. And the other partners, did they participate? Ah, David Emanuel, he says that he is a listener today. But Susan, also a listener. And Henry Giovanni is not ready because I think that he's still writing it. Yes? Okay, knowledge. 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 Okay, class. Congratulations, Miss Sonia and Miss Evelyn. You did a great effort, and that is valuable, okay? Now you are learning to express your ideas. Now, class, let's get back to the main session room so we can continue, okay? Very well okay. done, girls. Okay. Okay, people, let's wait for the other partners to return. Actually, let me see. In 20 seconds, they must be back. Everybody. Class, very well. Do thumbs up for your performance, okay? Most of you did a great job, an excellent effort, very well. Practice makes perfect. Continue practicing, and then you're going to master the language. Now, let's continue with our next activity, okay? Because with this activity, your presentation, we are um, finishing, right? your pending from yesterday. And right now, here we go. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see. This is what we did. And here, we're going to be talking about my work experience. The purpose here is to talk about my work experience. So we're going to work as a class right now. And I'm going to share right here. Okay. Let's see here. How long have you worked in your company? Have you occupied different positions? You know, rotation. Um, the positions rotation is in many companies like a culture as a practice and it is classified as a very good practice. In my opinion, in my personal opinion, it is good to have different positions in a company because you get familiar to the different duties or activities in the different areas. And I have enjoyed that when I have been moved from one position to another one. And then you, you know a lot about the company. So, but here the questions are for you, not to me. How long have you worked in your company? Probably you say, uh, I have worked for my company for seven years, five years, three years, one year, two years. How long have you been working in your company? Or six months, two months, three months, five months? I don't know, eight months. Have you occupied different positions? No, only my position. Or maybe, yes, to different positions. I have occupied two different positions, depending on you. So, class, I need you to ask and answer these two questions in the breakout rooms. Only five minutes for this activity, okay? Only the questions in exercise one. How long have you worked in your company? Have you occupied different positions? Yes, I have, or no, I haven't. In the case that you have occupied different positions, you mentioned, oh, well, I have been a supervisor, I have been a self-executive, and I've been a trainer, for example. Or no, I've been only the messenger, for example. Okay, class, are the instructions clear? To develop yeah. this activity. Oh, okay, yes. let's go for it. I'm going to ask you to go to the breakout rooms, okay? Join your groups, please. If you are so nice, go to your groups. Go to your groups. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Henry Giovanni, go to your group. Susana Carolina, please join your group, even though you are a listener, but I need you in the groups because if you stay here, you don't get the, the minutes of attendance, okay? Because the platform says uh, not join. And also for Gustavo, please, Gustavo Nunez, thank you. Let's start. Hello. Hello. Okay, here you are. Daisy Carolina is available. Katia Maria is available. Dani is available. Miguel Angel is available. And Carlos Enrique, are you available, Carlos Enrique? Are you there, Carlos Enrique Rivas? Okay, yes, you are. Now, listen, maybe you can go like this. Maybe, Dani, ask the questions to Carlos. Carlos, ask the questions to Katia. Katia, ask the questions to Daisy. Daisy, ask the questions to Miguel. And Miguel, ask the questions to Dani. Is that okay? okay. So, all of you, ask the questions and the answers. Okay, go for it. Begin, please. Time flies. Time flies. Miguel, ¿no? 
Okay, in this group, we have Elizabeth and oh, Miss Carla is still in their way home. She, home. she is commuting. Reina Elizabeth is available. Andre, you are available. And I don't know if Mr. Guillermo Eduardo is available. So you yes, can teacher. ask and answer the questions. Probably you, Mr. Guillermo Eduardo, you ask the questions to Miss Carla. Okay, she answers. Carla asks the questions to Reina Elizabeth. Reina Elizabeth asks the questions to Andre. And Andre asks the questions to Mr. Guillermo Eduardo. Is that okay? So everybody practices the questions and you practice your answers. Okay, that is the purpose. Okay, go for it. Okay, Carla, how long have you worked in your company and have you uh, how do you pronounce that word teacher occupied occupied o occupied um different positions the microphone is carla okay i'm sorry uh, um okay. in my case is in the company I have four years and the second question is um I have two occupation occupation two occupation different um in different area. I have occupied two different positions. Two okay. different positions. I have I occupied have... two different positions. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I have been working in my company for 15 years. And I own Continue, so. Okay. And in my case, I have uh, I have a uh, run uh, Fifteen. Oh my God! Fifteen years. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen, Fifteen years. Fifteen, 15 years. years. Uh huh. I am around fifteen years. Oh, you know, I stand there in the company. When I was only twenty one years old, <laughs> enter the company as by a different different position, and for example, uh, various jobs. Uh, luego. Then, 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 then go to cashier, and and now, actually in second bus. <laughs> That's it. Very well, because in your fifteen years. In a company, you have occupied three different positions. Yes? Excellent. Yes. Very well. Congrats. Yes. Next. Thank you. Okay. I worked in a company during 12 years. Uh, I studied in, I studied how uh, operation machine. Then uh, to continue, I huh. um, come in. And after that, I worked that trial meal. 
And finally, I, I've been supervisor and broken the relationship with the company because the, the manufacturing open operation in Salvador. And continue, I work in actuality in Carbanisa. And I have, and I am a sales rep and I learning Cajero, excuse me, uh, how do you say Cajero? Cashier, cashier. Okay, I learning cashier. Very good. And I, I, and I, the company, give me opportunity uh, studying the university with a beca. Sure. Eh, ah, y como comercial, como a las nueve y media me salgo, teacher, porque tengo clase en vivo de, de, de gerencia de ventas dos. Ya para cerrar el, eh, lo último, ya es el último ciclo. Uy, ok. Ay, me uh, no, but the thing is that that is one of the benefits that you receive in the company. Yes. yes. From the company, the time for you to study. Great, congratulations. Very good. Ok, somebody else. Another partner? Arely? Okay, okay Noe. Uh, in my case, I have been working in my company for uh, two years. Uh, I have no occupied. Occupied. No, I haven't occupied. I okay. haven't occupied occupy other position. Very well, thank you. Excellent. And Areli, did she present? Areli, is No, uh, ya presentó su proyecto a los compañeros. And de esto ya acaba de terminarlo, pero solo quería mencionar. Okay, sí, say, it, say it. Okay, uh, number one, I have been working say company for two years. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> have you occupied different position? No, always in the same house. No, I have always been in the same job in the same, in the same job. position. In the same okay. position. Okay. Okay. Very well done. Great effort, Miss. Excellent. Congratulations. So you see you can do it, okay? So okay. give me one minute or 30 seconds in order to see if everybody is ready to get back because you need to practice the conversation and create a conversation, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. In this group, everybody finished. I don't know, teacher. <clears throat> Todavía, huh? nos Todavía nos faltan. Todavía nos faltan. Really? <laughs> okay. Solo, es, bueno, yo al menos, he contestado la primera que la primera que dice I have I, I have I perdón mm -hmm. I have five years in the company I have those two position okay mm -hmm. I have occupied two positions occupied okay occupy uh -huh. occupied I have oh. occupied two positions, two different positions. Okay, Evelyn Jamilet? Uh, I have been in the company for two years and I have only occupied one position. Great, Evelyn, congratulations. And what about Henry Giovanni? Hello, Henry.
eh, la pregunta que dice Romani Position How You Hair eh, ¿Cómo dijo que se mencionaba ocupado? Occupied. I have occupied. 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 Yes, ah, occupied. okay. I have ocupied. Occupied. Occupied to position. Occupied. Occupied. Occupied to position. I have occupied to position. Excellent, Henry Giovanni. Thank you so much for the effort yeah. because it's raining cats and dogs. And uh, David or Susan, are you going to participate? No. Okay, so class, let's get back to the main session room so you can practice the conversation, okay? Thank you so much. Good effort. Congratulations. Okay, let's wait for the other partners to return. While we wait for them, we are going to go over the next conversation because here you are going to talk about my work experience. That is the topic, my work experience. I'm going to read for you, you listen to me, and later you practice, okay? And later... When you practice and you switch roles, you are going to work in groups and discuss these questions. And you are going to create one conversation similar to this one. Okay, that is what you are going to do. So let's wait for the others. I have 22. Okay, here we are. Class, we continue with our activities and then we were in the breakout rooms Question, these are the questions that you were asking and answering. And now let's go over activity two. Listen to your teacher with the conversation, then practice with a partner. The conversation is between Julio and Anna. And it goes like this. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit. I quit. I left, okay? Because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back. Not really. I have done many, some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. One more time. Tell me, uh, let me see. Okay. Julio says, tell me about your work experience. Anna answers, I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Now I need two participants to practice this conversation. Julio is the interviewer and Anna is the interviewee. She is applying for a position at Julio's company. Okay. 
two volunteers to practice the conversation. One is going to read Julio, and the other one, thank you, Jill, Yvonne, you're going to read Anna. I need another participant to read Julio. Me, teacher. Okay, Miss, you're going to read Julio. One, two, three. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I, um, I was offered. <coughs> I quit. I, I quit. Ah, I quit because? I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have no work since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent, independent, independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Thank you very well. Only notice this. Tell me about your work experience. I worked. I worked. Past tense. Worked. I worked. A plosive it sound. I worked. It is like T. I I worked at I Unilever worked. for five years. Actually. 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 Okay. I worked mm -hmm. in this company from 2011 to 2016. Actually means uh, nowadays, okay? In the reality, now. It is not actualmente, no. Actually means nowadays. Uh, I mean, in effect, de hecho en realidad. I quit when you finish your, uh, your relation with one company and you go to another one. I quit. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened? This is with D at the end. What happened there? It was just for a short, sh short period of time. Period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you, and you have not worked since, since since you came back not really not really i have done i have done some independent independent jobs you know but they have not been for long only short projects now this is the conversation you are going to practice with your partners in the breakout rooms you switch roles okay and when you finish the practice of this conversation, you go over these three questions and you answer, when did Anna, actually four, when did Anna start working at Unil in Unilever? When did she stop working there? Why did she quit her job in Unilever? Have you ever done independent job? Yes, I have or no, I haven't. That is the answer. Are the instructions clear? Yes, sir. Okay, let's go to the breakout rooms and practice. Speaking practice, guys. Everybody practicing the language. Go to your groups, please. Join your groups. I sent you the invitation. Okay, Carla, you go to group number two. And let me see who is. Can you? Okay, did you receive the invitation? No. No. Okay, I'm going to send you to another group and then I bring you back over here, okay? Okay. Uh, I'm going to send you the invitation so you can join group number three right now. 
And have you not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent, uh, independent job. You know, uh, but they have not been for long. Okay, I'm sorry for the interruption. Catherine, Catherine Beatriz Reyes. Are you okay in this group? Because when I clicked on Carla, it, somebody else came back and it was moved. But let me, okay, let me hold it. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Daisy, I'm going to assign her here. You are group number two. Catherine, are you available to practice? Catherine Beatriz Reyes Ventura, are you available okay. to practice? Yes or no, Miss? Uh, repeat the question, please. At this moment, are you available to practice with your classmates the conversation? Are you ready to practice? Está lista para practicar la conversación, Catherine, con sus compañeros. Uh, yeah. Okay. Daisy, are you ready to practice the conversation? Yes. Okay. So, guys, you take turns in order to practice the conversation, okay? Okay. Okay, see you. Comienzo yo. She was offered offered a new job in Panama. Did Carla, hey, I'm sorry for the interruption, people. Did Carla practice the conversation? Okay. Yeah, Carla is here. No, we get. Okay, so girls, uh, have you practiced the conversation? Have you already practiced the conversation? Ya practicaron la conversación, niña. We are discussing. Por el momento, no, teacher, estamos ah, contestando. Okay. okay, Carla. So that is the reason why they didn't invite you to practice the conversation because they are answering the questions at this moment. They work first with the questions and yes. then they are going to practice, okay? But girls, here you are Yvonne, Michelle Yvonne, okay. Carla, Miss Carla Merino, Miss Rosalie Yvonne, and Miss Ursula Esteli, okay? For people, so you practice the conversation in pairs. Okay, answer okay. the questions and later you practice. Very good. Okay. 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 And what happened in three? There, perdón. And what happened in there? It was her for a hot spirit of time. It was her for each more. Only my prayer was down that I come, come back to El Salvador. You have not worked since you came back. No, really. I had that so independent. Short you not, but they have not been for long. For long. Van a volver a practicar, chicos. Okay. Teacher. I, I will be retired, retired because I started, because this is started a class in the university. No problem. 
okay, but you know that the, you cannot keep uh, connected even though you don't participate. I mean because uh, of the attendance, because it is about 30 minutes every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I continue connected in the Okay, as a, as a listener. And... Mm -hmm. Okay. In okay, okay, very well. So Edwin and Saúl, Arely, you practice. Noé and Maritza, Elizabeth, yeah. did you practice? Okay, okay, voy a iniciar. Yo no sé quién me, puede, quién me va a seguir. Uh, maybe in Edwin. Okay, teacher. Okay. Yes. How do you say 2011, 2011 to 2016? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Inicio. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Hopefully, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2056. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? I was just for a short period of time. I was just for eight months. Until my project was done, then I come back to El Salvador. And you have no work, work and uh, time you, you come back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Good place. Okay. okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at uh, Unilever for five five years. Actually, I worked uh, in in this company from uh, 20, 2011 uh, to twenty uh, sixteen. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? I was used for a short period of time. It was used for eight months. Usually my project was done. Then I come back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent job, you you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, okay, I say. Okay, you finish the practice. Now answer the questions. Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, very well, congrats. I have I have done some independent jobs. You know, but they have not been for long. Okay. No sé si hoy practica usted la para hacer la para hacer las preguntas o para hacer el, el chico la, la otra persona. <laughs> sí. Bye. To switch. No sé si Marvin quiere practicar. Okay. ok. Henry, ¿lo vas a hacer con ella o, o sigo yo? Si quieren, lo hago. Con... Vaya. Uh -huh. Vaya. Tell me about your work experience. experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just 
for a short period of time. It was just, just for eight months. Until my project was done, then I come back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back? No, really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay. Hoy cambiamos. Yes. Tell me about your work experience. I work at Unilever for five for five years. Actually, I work in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was, it was used for a short period of time. It was used for eight months. Until my project was done, then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not word sign you come back? No, really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been, been for long. Okay, thank you. Eh, Yo contestamos las preguntas. Sí. Sí, porque los, los otros niños creo que no, no van a practicar. Sí. Yes. No, because it's uh, that they are listeners. Captura, porque yo no las tengo. No tiene la captura. De las preguntas, no, no las tengo. Es que como no sé estaba lloviendo bien fuerte, yo no escuchaba lo que decía la tic. Y okay. no he descargado el material, no he encontrado. Ah, ah really? Ok, hold it, I'm going to share with you right now, ok? Via WhatsApp. I'm going to share the slide with you. Ok. Right now. For your convenience. Uh, Hold it. Where are you? Okay. You're here. Yes, this is yours. There you are. You have the material in the WhatsApp group. Thank you, teacher. My pleasure. Okay, answer the questions. Okay. I think that you are over. You finished, correct? And you answer the questions. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, listen. Some people are still working because they are more people. They are still working on the on the questions. But you already answered the four questions. Yes. Let me see. There are four questions. Yes. Number one, when did Anna start working in Unilever? When did she stop working there? Why did she quit her job in Unilever? And have you ever done independent job? This is a personal question, yeah? Because the answers vary. You may answer, yes, I have. No, I haven't. Or no, I have never. Okay, so... Now let's get back to the main session room and we answer together, okay? Okay. Thank you.
Very well, here we go. Let's answer together the questions. We're going to standardize the answers. And here we go. Class, when did Anna start working in Unilever? When did uh, Anna start working in Unilever? In? In 2011. In 2011, okay. And when did she stop working there? In 2016. Okay, that's it. In 2016. Great. Uh, did she quit her job in Unilever? Yes, she did or no, she didn't. I know why the reason. Why did she quit her job in Unilever? Then you say, she quit her job in Unilever because she was offered uh, a new job in Panama. Excellent. Because she was offered a new job in Panama. Yeah. Now, this is a, a individual. It is your opinion. Have you ever done independent job? Who has in this class done independent job? I don't. I don't have. Independent, no. Independent job like um, professional services. I have done that. Mm -hmm. In you? Independently. No. That, I mean, you don't work for a company, but you receive maybe in a special project. No. 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 Nobody. No. Uh, okay. Have... Okay. Okay. Who has? Okay, Elizabeth. Carla. Carla has done it independently. Very well. Okay. Okay, excellent, because she's a marketer. Are you a marketer, Carla? Yes. Ah, that is why you have a lot of in that, in that job, a lot of opportunities. Now, class, look at this. How to use time expressions. We use for plus the period of time. For example, I worked in Indiana for seven years. I worked, so it means that it is past, simple past. I worked in Indiana for seven years. In other words, she or he doesn't work in Indiana anymore. The relationship, job, employee, company, employee is over, finished. It's simple past. Bye-bye, Diana, Diana company. If we use for plus things, I'm sorry, we use things plus the specific points in the past I have worked there since 2005 or 2005. It means that I began to work in that company since 2005 or 2005, and now I continue working in there. Yes? Because for, por tantos años, since desde tal año. In other words, when we say since, it's because the action continues. We use from to state the start and end of time. Notice that the position. I stayed there from January to November. From, okay, I stayed there from January to November. If you say, I stayed in Unilever from 2011 to 2016, yes? We use the word then, to introduce a new event in a series. I worked in that company until 2011. Then, similar to after, I quit. Use until to mark the end of an activity period, finished. I worked in Panama until my project was over. Hasta que, my project was over. We are going to use these prepositions in order to express correctly the time. Now here, what are you going to do, class? 
you are going to use since, from, then, until to complete this information. You are going to read about Nicole's work experience and fill in the blanks using for, since, from, from to, and long in order to practice and check out if we have understood how to use the time expressions and you can watch these examples okay you see that uh, that set of examples that you have in there and later we're going to double check uh, i'm going to share this slide via whatsapp to some people that still have not downloaded the manual from the platform but it is mandatory you know okay while you begin working i'm going to look for that slide in order to share it this is the one with your classmates hmm. begin working please there you are Henry, you have it in there. Let's see how this paragraph goes. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from UCA University. Ah, it is missing the T from UCA, UCA University. She studied there, blah, blah. 2005 or 20, uh, 2005, blah, blah, 2011, blah, blah. She worked in Molsa, blah, blah, seven years, blah, blah. She was a child. She wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager, blah, blah, Almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there, blah, blah, 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works, blah, blah, Monday, blah, blah, Saturday, and she loves her job. She has not worked there, blah, blah, but her team supports her. So you use the prepositions for since from too long and we are going to double check okay while you are working on that class i'm going to call your names okay for the second attendance here we go let's see miss anna christina we check if uh, they are connected, but they have any problem. Ana Cristina is absent. Andre, where are you? Present teacher, here. Thank you, sir. Areli Isabel. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Areli. Carlos Enrique Rivas. Present teacher. Great. Eh, Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Thank you. David Emanuel. David. Present teacher. Thank you. Daisy Caroline. Present teacher. The girl in yellow. Edwin Esaú. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. <laughs> Elizabeth, Miss Carla. Miss Carla, where are you? Are you home? Okay, no, thank you, Miss Carla. Not yet. Ay, still on your way home. Oh my God. Yes, we can see. Okay. Miss Yvonne Menjiva de Castellanos. Present teacher. Thank you. Mr. Guillermo Eduardo Abrego Ramirez. Present teacher. Great. Henry Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Eduardo Flores Aguilar. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Juan Eduardo Flores. Ah, yes. Catherine Present. Beatriz. Catherine. Present. Katia María. Present teacher. Great. Maritza Elizabeth. Listener today. Miguel Ángel Santos. Present teacher. Noé Gustavo. Present teacher. Thank you. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo. Oscar Eduardo Meléndez Martínez. Absent. Oscar Humberto. Absent. Reina Elizabeth Alfaro. Present. Thank you, Miss Reina. Rosalie Bon. Thank you, Miss Quintanilla Mejía. Sonia Esmeralda. Present teacher. Great. Susana Carolina. Susan. Present. Thank you, Miss. Ursula Esteli. Present teacher. Great, Miss Esteli. Thank you. Now, here we go. Let's teacher, check out. No. E who? Evelyn. No, yes. Evelyn, that cannot be possible. I'm going to commit Okay, Evelyn. I in my mind I read your name. Miss Evelyn Jamilet Molina Alvarez. Yes. Please forgive me. I promise I will never ever do that in my life, okay? Yes. And here we go, class. Okay. Let's see. Nicole was born in San Salvador, El Salvador in 1985. She graduated from Uca University. She studied there. From? From 25 20, or 2005? To? To 2011. Very well, great. And then we have? Then. Excellent. Then, which means luego entonces, right? She worked in Molsa seven years. For, 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 for seven years apart. Then we say she was a child. And? No. Since, desde que, since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for, for almost 15 years, for almost, for Cassie, 15 years retired. You know retired? When you get your pension, the money, because the you are maybe 60 years old and then the money that you have been saving for your, you know, for your elderly age, retired, jubilarse, for almost 15 years retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there since, 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 2015. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from in from Monday to Saturday. To Saturdays, very well. Ooh. from Monday to Saturdays to Saturday, and she loves her job. She has not worked there. Long? Long. For mucho tiempo. Okay, but her team supports her. And that's it. Okay. Is it okay or do you have another version? Mm. 
what you are going to do right now, class, is that you are going to create your own story. I'm going to take a victim here. My victim is Daniel Ernesto Membreño. And then I write here, Daniel was born in, in San Salvador. Correct, Dani? No, in San Miguel. Okay. Daniel was born in San Miguel, El Salvador in? 1980, 85? No, you. Uh, you actually. Uh-huh, you know you. When were actually, you born? Uh, 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 In what year was born? 1996. Uh-huh, because 85, no? 1986, are you sure? Yep. I don't think so. How old are you? 26, 27. But we are in 2023? Yes or no? No. 90. So maybe in 1997? 7, no, 96. Okay, let's leave it like that. Your mother knows better. Only your mother knows. Uh, in 1996. He graduated from your school, your institute. Uh, in him. Where did you graduate from, Danny? In uh, Instituto Nacional Isidro Menendez. Okay, and then we write, he graduated from uh, Instituto Nacional Francisco Menendez. That's it. He studied there from... And you write here the days that you studied in that place, yes? Mm -hmm. Then he worked in and you start your story, yeah? You are going to write this story, your story, as you were another person, as I was doing with, um, with Danny. Is that okay? But this is your story. That is what Danny is going to write, but Evelyn is going to write. Nick, uh, Evelyn was born in... Uh -huh, Evelyn, where were you born? The place, San Salvador. San Solán de San Miguel, La Unión. La Paz. Okay, uh, Evelyn was born in La Paz, El Salvador, in? Um, mm -hmm. In? 19... Mm -hmm. In 1994. 1994. Yes. Are you sure? In 1994, she graduated from. Um, Instituto. Eh, Complejo Educativo San Jose Abajo. Okay, very good. She studied there from blah, blah, to blah, blah. The time that you studied in that complejo. Is that okay? Then she worked in and you start your story about your different jobs or your work experience. Is that okay? But the, I mean is individually, you write about you, but you don't say, uh, my name is, no, you say your name was born in, you mentioned the place where you were born. Let's begin. Let's begin writing that. Uh, I need, let me see. It's for one day. No, you begin right now. now. Listen, I have something to ask. Okay, begin writing that. Begin writing. While I was talking and talking, I was expecting that you were completing, working in the completion of these uh, words in blue, the preposition, the expressions of time, actually. So now listen, I'm looking for somebody. Ooh. No, that's not, aha. Uh -huh. Mr. Noé Gustavo Núñez Cardona, are you here? Noé Gustavo, where are you? Yes, yes, yes. Are you here? Yes? 
Okay. Yes. I need you to stay with me for the one-on-one -on -one session after the class, okay? Noé Gustavo se va a quedar conmigo para la reunión después de la clase. Is that okay? Okay. I told you in Spanish, so you don't leave me alone. Okay. En español para que no me dejes solita. Okay? <laughs> like Mr. Andre. I know, Andre. I cannot forgive you for that. Okay, class, listen. Sure. <laughs> I need you, class, to work on this in the weekend. Yes? Remember, because we're going to read this activity as a review on Monday. Yes? In the breakout rooms. Continue working on the platform. And remember that here we worked on this. Homework two, question number four. Weekends off would be a good option to have happy employees, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, listen. I didn't take the picture yet. I'm going to take a picture. Activate your cameras, please. Right. No, I didn't take your picture. To the count of three, a nice smile, please. And then you go and begin your weekend, your happy weekend. Some of you are in bed. Oh my God, I'm envious for that. Okay, I'm going to count to three. One, two, three. Ha ha, David, excellent. Say hello. Great. The picture has been taken, guys. So where is it? Over here. Okay, I'm going to share it right now via WhatsApp. I wish you a great weekend and only Mr. Noé stays with the teacher. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Have a good night. Good night. Have a good, good, night. good, night. Have a good awesome. night. Happy weekend. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Enjoy your weekend. Good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Take care. Sleep well. Sleep nice because the weather is very nice, very fresh. Teacher. Okay. Yes, sir. Tell me. I have thing. comment. I have comment. Uh huh. I like that you put us in the same group in the room. In in the breakout rooms. Mm -hmm. And with who are your partners? Because when I ask the platform, okay, I don't uh, group you. Because I want them, I, I want you to be. So your group is? No, no, in, in Spanish, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> no me gusta que nos pongan los mismos en, la, en las salas. Siento que es, eh, nos, nos coordinamos mejor. Como ah, ok, nos, but, me, uh -huh. but I don't know. I was telling you, eh, le digo la plataforma es uh, aleatoriamente que los agrupa. Eh, ah, si me gusta, el lunes me, me manda un texto y entonces lo pongo manualmente, ¿ok? Ah, ok, ok. Gracias. Ok, okay my Gracias. pleasure. Happy weekend. Bye bye, Susan. Bye bye, bye. Edwin. Ok, Noé, here we go. Let's get started. Ok, teacher. I'm going to practice reading, ¿ok? Ok. Okay, uh, here we go. Where is it? This one. Okay, listen, we're going to practice the conversations. Uh, we're going to practice this conversation between Andre and Kurt. Okay. Listen to me and later you and I, okay? You just first listen. Kurt. How comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring what can you bring to this company as an employee? I would be, it would be, ah oh no, I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I 
could be a great, of great help in large projects. Now I am going to be Kirk and you are going to read Andre. Okay, you begin, Gustavo. Okay. Okay. Queer. How comfortable to do you feel working in the silent areas? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this would be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, what can you bring to this company as an employee? I uh, would be. I, I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects. Now we switch. I am hurt and you read Andre. You begin. Okay. And uh, curious, how com comfortable do you feel working in the sa salad area? Repeat after me, sales area. Sales area. Okay, pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say, this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to the company as an employee? I would be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It's a great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be of great help in large projects, okay? And now here, hmm, we go over the next conversation between Julio and Ana. Listen to the teacher. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back. Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Now you read Julio, I read Anna. Okay. Tell me about your work, work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company from 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Uh, and you? have no work, Sai, you, you come back. Since you came back. Since you came back. Came back. Came back. Okay, very good. Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Now we switch. I read Julio and you read Anna. Mm, tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in the company from 2011 
to 2016. Uh, 16. 16. Mm -hmm. uh, I quit because I was offered a new a new job in Panama. And what happened there? It was used for a short period of time. It was used for eight months. You till my project was done. Then I ca I can come came, back. Came back. Came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back. No, really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. Okay, very good. Repeat after me, please. Um, tell me about your work experience. Tell me, tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever. I worked at Unilever for five years. For five years. Actually, I work in this company. Actually, I work in this company. From 2011 to 2016. For 2011 to 2016. 16. 16. Excellent. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. I, I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. I was offered a new job in Panama. I I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? And what happened there? It was just for a short period of time. It was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months. It, it was just for eight months. Hmm. Until my project was done. Until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have not worked since you came back. And you have not worked since you came back. Not really. Not really. I have done. I have done. Some independent jobs. Some independent jobs. You know. You know. But they have not been for long. But they have not been for long. And that's it. Okay, very well. And let me see. I think that we can we we can go here. Repeat after me. When did Anna start working in Unilever? When did Anna start working in Unilever? When did she stop working there? When did she stop working there? Why did she quit her job in Unilever? Why why did she quit her job in Unilever? Have you ever done independent jobs? Have you ever done independent job? Hey, thank you so much for giving me your time this Friday night. Fresh, very fresh and rainy Friday night, but we practice, okay? Thank you okay. so much. Happy thank weekend. You. Continue working on the platform and see you Monday, okay? Bye-bye. Okay, thank bye. you. Bye. Thanks to you. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night.